Okay, we are talking about frankincense and hyssop today. I hope that you've enjoyed this class this week. I hope it's been informative. There's a lot of things that um, that sometimes you don't always know, especially when you're new. And even when you've been around a while, there's things that I learn every single day. There's something new that somebody will say. I'm like, really? I didn't realize that worked or that happened or or that's what you could use it for. You know, so there's always this learning curve um, when it comes to oils. Um, I hope y'all had the chance to watch the Seed to Seal video. It really explains why Young Living is so much better than any other company that there is any other um, oil company. Um, buying oils off the shelf out of Walmart or um, CVS or somewhere like that is just not really an option. It really, you're not doing anything but buying um, like floral water and just trash water you're getting very little oil mixed in with that because the standards are not um a young living sets the standard very high and we send things out for a third party testing whereas a lot of oil companies will not do that they just i mean you can put anything you want to on the bottle they can say it's 100 percent pure because they have like five percent oil and then a bunch of water so yeah it's pure water <laughs> but it doesn't have to be a pure good quality oil so um make sure you know the oils that you're using make sure because if you put lavender from cvs on your body thinking that it's going to help um some of your skin issues you may have you're probably going to end up causing more problem because it's got synthetic things added to it you've got synthetic fragrant fragrances added tons of things that's not going to be good for your body so Make sure you know what you're using. Make sure you know why you're using it. Don't just take it for granted. Find out um, and use something that's good quality oil on your body. Um, so frankincense is one of those I absolutely is my favorite. It is one of the first ones I fell in love with. Um, if you have not seen this book, Healing Oils of the Bible by David um, Stewart, this is what I suggest you getting. Um, even more than a desk reference, like an essential oils desk reference, because it has, it does have a whole lot of science -y kind of things in it. It tells you all about the, um, monoterpenes and cis terpenes and all of that kind of stuff. But it will also tell you about, um, it'll explain why those are important and why those are good. And, and even if you're not a big science person, I'm not a science nerd, <laughs> I don't mind the whole thought of all of that, but I'm not real good at it. But I enjoy when I start reading about it and reading what each one of those things do. When you see the PMS oils, what um, David Stewart calls them. When you understand those things, it makes the Young Living Oil make sense. It makes it all make much, much more sense. So I suggest you get the book and you read it. Even if some of it doesn't make sense, it talks about the frequency and um, and the energy in the oils and how they work and why they work. Very, very, very important. Highly, highly important to help you to understand why they work. So you can explain to a friend when a friend says, that's witchy stuff. No, it's not. God created the oil for your body to help work in conjunction with your body, not against it but for it and with it. So it goes into the cells and goes down deep into the cells and begins to work and it moves because the oil is actually energy. It's alive, moving in the plant. So then when they distract it, and especially when Young Living distract, pulls it out and distills it, then it is actually put into the bottle still alive. It's not having anything added to it, so it doesn't kill it. It doesn't do anything but just keep it living. And it's sealed up, so you don't have to worry about that. When the oil is then, um, if if you buy one off the shelf at CVS or Walmart, those oils are um, are have been so distilled and smushed. The plants have been just totally messed up because they've distilled it so many times that you wind up with a, a very poor quality oil and the oil is not able to live and it's not able to keep on growing or not growing but to keep on moving and so it's not alive anymore so we're going to talk about frankincense frankincense um is considered one of the holy anointing oils um ancient uses of this was used like of course we know that baby jesus had this oil that was brought to him from the wise men so when they brought that to him a lot of times 
back then, they would use it to put over the entire baby's body to help it to be healthy and to help it to stay, um, to get rid of all of the germs, you know, from being born. It would be a, something that the mama would use to be able to help her to not have any um, side effects from the birth and things like that. So it wasn't necessarily um, that rich people used it. It was simply because that's what everybody did. That's how they helped keep their bodies healthy and to stay, um, get the, keep the immune system boosted and all that kind of stuff. So it's really interesting to me. That's really a cool thing to me. Um, one of the things they did use it for was embalming. So of course we do know that they put, that frankincense was one of those things they put on Jesus's body as well after he was um, crucified. So very interesting to me that even at his birth, he had frankincense and even at his death, there was frankincense. And um, when I, some of you have heard this story, but when I had baby Skylie, um, she was my last one, and just knowing that that was one of those things that was used for baby Jesus, I used it on her as soon as she was born. As soon as I got to my room, I rubbed it all over her, and I prayed over her, and it was just a very, a very neat thing to be able to do that. Um, I also, the whole time I was pregnant with her, I used Nixia Red, and I drank it every day. Well, Nixia Red has, of course, the wolf berries and things like that, which is very good for your body. All the antioxidants and and all the um, different essential oils that are in it, but also has frankincense. And so I drank that every day, the whole time I was pregnant. And a lot of days, that was all I could even eat or drink because I was so sick. So I would just, that's what I would do. And um, that child is probably has been the healthiest child I have had. She very rarely gets sick, smart as she can be. I mean, like, like came here so smart. <laughs> I mean, she's like crazy smart. And she's only two, but she knows how to count to about 20. She knows her colors. She's very, I mean, very, very smart. But um, it's just really neat to me because I know that what I'm putting in my body helped her. I know what I put in and on their bodies now will help them over time. And I know that they are learning a different way to take care of, of their wellness that I didn't have when growing up. You know, there was a lot of things we would do. And after effects that now we have because of what we used on our bodies before, not nothing bad, you know, but still just the things that we didn't really know any difference. You know, you take certain medicines because people tell you to take it. Not that it's bad, you know, certain vitamins. The vitamins we take are not bad vitamins, but the Young Living vitamins are infused with the essential oils, which then in turn helps the vitamin to work, like where the, the fatty, there's some of the vitamins that work better for fatty, um, like to really get into the body better, like to water-soluble water and um, fat-soluble. So sometimes, you know, depending on what the, what, thing you need to be able to get those things into your body better, then you need that particular thing. Like if, if they're water soluble, you need lots of water to help to solve it, uh, help it to dissolve and get into your body better. With the oils, it actually helps to put that vitamin or the, and those minerals and those things into your body better and faster. So it really works much, much better. And, uh, so you're, you're getting a double dose. So you're getting your vitamins, plus you're getting the oils that are also um, enriching your body and helping to support all your systems as well. So that is what is really awesome to me. So you're you're working in so many different directions. Um, the modern uses for frankincense also are pretty much everything. I mean, it is one of those kind of oils that when you use it, if you don't know what to use, I say use frankincense. I mean, if you are sitting there and, hmm, I don't know what might be good for this, use frankincense. You can't go wrong with it. I mean, if you saw the list, look, this is in the book. That is the list of modern uses. I mean, it's like a gob. <laughs> there are so many things, but it promotes, um, promotes permanent wellness in your body. I mean, all the time. It helps to rebuild um, cells. It is, um, oh my goodness, I mean, used for everything, used for any kind of support of your systems whatsoever, so it's it's a must-have. Um, some of the different oils that it's found in, 
is humility, awaken, harmony, Exodus 2, abundance, brain power, trauma life, valor. It's in so many different things. Um, frankincense is one of those things that uh, Lily used first when we first started using the oils. Um, one of the things that helped her um, with some of her cis symptoms that she had going on, it really helped to boost her cis system and um, to help to create a better atmosphere in her body that she needed. So it was, it's awesome. I mean, I, I just, that's one reason I like the Ningxia Red so much because it is in that, that it's in so many different things. So, um, the next oil that we're going to talk about is hyssop. Hyssop is, um, has, hyssop's one of those that I have, um, come to love. It is funny to me because it is, um, it, they, it's going to kind of sound funny, but it's a spiritually cleansing oil. So like if, um, helps for focusing and med, um, mind in your mind in meditation and it's purifying from sin, addictions, and destructive behave, habits. That's what they were used for in ancient times. So you will find that a lot of hyssop things, hyssop was one of those that when the Egyptians were going to be leaving Egypt, then, um, you know, God said to take the blood and put it around the doorpost. He said to use hyssop to put it around, put the blood around. Well, they would beat the hyssop. Sorry, my phone's ringing. Um, he would beat the hyssop around the doorpost. And when he would do that, or when they would do that, it would let that smell out. So they felt like that it was getting rid of the evil spirit. So in their mind, even though God was the one that said, I'm going to come, the death, the death angel is going to come over and he's going to kill the firstborn of those that do not have the blood over the door. They felt like that even though God was the one saying, I will protect you. I will protect your firstborn if you do this. In their mind, they're still thinking of it as evil spirits. So they're doing this in their mind to get rid of the evil spirit of that death angel, even though God was really truly the one that was protecting them. So I know that's a kind of, um, hope that kind of makes sense, but that's how they felt like it was for them. So that was one of the things that they used was hyssop for those particular reasons. Monoterpins, um, the modern uses has monoterpins that reprogram miswritten information in the DNA. There's a lot of the oils that do this, tons and tons of them. I know most of these that we've talked about this week have the monoterpins in them. So they are transforming that DNA. They're helping to build up a good DNA. And um, so they can, these, the hyssop specifically will help to promote, um, um, to relieve stress and anxiety. So that's a really good thing that you need and, um, and to help your skin. It's great for all your systems of your body, your respiratory system and different things like that. So hyssop's another one that I've really come to really like because it is, it does help you to feel relaxed and it does help you to feel good when you're feeling a little anxious and over overly um irritated sometimes so so i hope this was helpful i hope that's um if that I hope that makes sense because it's really hard sometimes to know um how to explain some of this stuff especially 